How's it going guys? It's Kyle or the How To Guy 123 here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a PS5 controller, also known as a DualSense controller, on a PC using Steam. I made a video a few weeks ago on how to use the PS5 controller on a PC using DS4 Windows, and that's still my preferred method of setting up the controller on the PC. However, this is also a good method as it doesn't require you to download or install anything, as long as you have Steam already installed. Also, DS4 Windows is not supported in a few newer games like Halo Infinite. Anyways, let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. So we're going to want to start off by connecting our PS5 controller to our PC. Now there's two ways we can do this, we can either connect it wirelessly through Bluetooth or wired through the USB cable. And I'll show you how to connect it using both methods. So first let's start off with the USB cable. Now this is pretty straightforward, you're just going to want to take any USB Type-C cable, uh, but preferably you're going to want to use the one that came with your PS5 controller. You're going to want to plug one end into the USB port on your PC, which I've already done so, and then plug the USB Type-C end into the USB Type-C port on the top of your controller. Your controller might light up yellow for a second, but then it should turn blue, and the player one slot light should light up on your controller. And that basically means that your controller is connected to your PC. If you want to connect your controller wirelessly through Bluetooth, you're first going to want to head into Windows Settings. Now click on Bluetooth and Devices, add a device, and then click on Bluetooth. Uh, over on your controller, you're going to want to press the PS button and the Share button at the same time. And you're going to want to hold it for a few seconds. And then your controller should rapidly flash blue. Over on Windows, in the Added Device window, it should show a wireless controller. Go ahead and click on it, and it's going to start to pair your controller. And once your controller is paired, it says that your device is ready to go and wireless controller is connected. We can now click on Done, and we can exit out of these settings. So now we're going to want to go ahead and open up Steam. I'm going to assume in this tutorial that you already have Steam downloaded and installed and that you have an account, but if you don't, I'll leave a link to download it uh, in the description below. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up Steam. And once Steam is open, go to the top left hand corner and click on Steam and then Settings and that's going to open up the Steam settings. Uh, click on the Controller tab and then choose General Controller Settings. And that's going to open up a window with the Controller settings. We're going to want to make sure that PlayStation Configuration Support is checked. And under Detected Controllers, it should show that your PS5 controller is already connected. If we click on it, we can choose Identify. It's going to make your controller vibrate so you know which controller is which if you have multiple controllers. Uh, calibrate, uh, I'm not really going to touch this in this video. This is how you can adjust your sticks, your trackpad, and accelerometer if you're having uh, problems like joystick drift and uh, other problems. So you can configure that here, but I'm just going to click on OK and leave everything default. Uh, finally, under Preferences, this is where we can kind of personalize our controller. We can choose to give it a name, but I'll just leave it as PlayStation 5 controller. We can choose if we want vibration on or off. I like to leave this on. Under Player Slot LED, this is if you want this Player Slot LED to show on your controller. Uh, you can choose to turn this off if you'd like, or only show it if you have multiple controllers connected. Uh, I'll just leave it on for now. And finally, we have the controller light color, and here we can adjust the color of the light bar on our controller. So right now you can see it's lit up blue. So I can change this to whichever color I would like. So I can change it to light green. Hopefully you can see it on camera here. Uh, I can change it to red. And you can basically change it to whichever color you'd like. Uh, I think I'll leave it uh, on red for now. Uh, you can change the brightness of the light. And you can also change the saturation as well. And once you're done personalizing your controller, just click on Submit to save your settings. So now that our settings are saved, we can go ahead and close out of Steam's controller settings. Uh, and we can close out of Steam's settings. And now we can head over to our library and we can go ahead and choose a game to test our controller on. Uh, one thing I just want to note here is that if you want to use your controller on a game that's not on Steam, you need to add it as a non-Steam game. Uh, and you can add a non-Steam game by coming down to the bottom left-hand corner in the library tab in Steam. Click on it and then choose add a non-Steam game. Uh, a list of all your programs and games is going to come up here. And go ahead and find the game you want to play in the list here. Uh, you can also choose to browse your hard drive for the game if it's not shown in the list there. And essentially if you want to use your controller in the game, you have to launch it through Steam to use your controller. 
Uh, but for this video, we're going to test out the controller in Halo Infinite, which is already on Steam. So I'm going to go ahead and launch it. Alright, so Halo Infinite has launched. As you can see, I can move around the main menu with the D-pad, along with the left stick here. Let's go ahead and jump into Academy here and Weapon Drills just to test out our controller. Alright, you can see I can look around with the right stick, I can move around with the left stick. Let's go ahead and pick up the Battle Rifle here. I can aim down sights with uh, L2 and shoot with R2. Overall, the controller works very well. Uh, there's no lag and everything is pretty smooth. One thing you might notice when you're playing your games is that the button icons in most games are the Xbox button icons uh, and not the PlayStation ones. And that's because the Xbox controller is native to the PC and most games don't actually implement the PlayStation button icons. They just use the default Xbox uh, button icons. So uh, that's something you might need to get used to. You might need to learn how the Xbox controller corresponds to the uh, PlayStation controller. Uh, some games in the settings that you can switch it, but it's not very common in most games. So one final thing I want to show you is if you're using your controller through Bluetooth and you want to turn it off, all you need to do is press the PS button and triangle at the same time, and that's going to instantly shut off your controller. Uh, also, now that our controller is already paired to Windows, if we just want to reconnect our controller, we can just press the PS button. And our controller is going to try and connect to Windows, and since it's already paired, it should just instantly connect. And it should be picked up by Steam. And that brings us to the end of the tutorial. If this video helped, please leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.